What's going on my crew? This is Rusty and welcome to another episode of Rusty Play Skyopolis 4. In today's episode, we have got a lot of stuff to show you and I think I need a new base iteration because holy crap. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, we have 64 coal in here. Uh, I don't even know where to start as far as what I've been able to do off camera. Uh, a lot of automation stuff, and I think one of the ways that I personally like to do things is start off with things being a little bit chaotic and then make them look nice. So, one of the main bottlenecks that we have is uh, wood production, and I was really hoping that we could somehow find a way to get everything working really, really nice and have, you know, like uh, a bunch of these trees with leaves and everything. Um, it's just not, not gonna work so well that way. So, the best thing for us to do is actually gonna be to create another one of these, up the ticks on this, and get a little bit more power going, because we're almost there. If you guys can't see, we're putting in a decent amount, um, but every once in a while, this thing will pop down a block, and it won't be able to convert it in time, and as you guys can see, it'll break. So, we don't want that, um... But this thing is, is actually pretty good. I did do an omnidirectional hopper here, which is a little bit more complicated. Uh, it's compressed ingots um, instead of regular ingots. And that allows you to pull out from anywhere but the bottom for our cobblestone generator. Um, so really kind of just hoping that things can get a little bit better if we just add another endo flame instead of the, the munch do. Uh, what I'd like to do is have the, just the munch do and a couple of these, and basically what would happen is the, uh, trees would get, the leaves would get eaten, and then immediately we would process the wood, but that's just not, it's not going to be sustainable. So, um, this is the start of our automated ore production, though, semi-automated because of this. So what's going to happen is this is going to continue to process out the... Um, charcoal, as you guys can see, we make plenty of it. Uh, it's going to put down here. This is going to make the magic happen so that we can get uh, this stuff making what it's making. This is then coming down and actually creating uh, a chest above everything else down here in our item storage. It's actually like up here. And it's putting it in there so that the network has everything. Uh, and if we look at, say, coal, for instance, the network has our coal, so whenever it mines out coal, it'll bump this up by one. And then, uh, as you guys can see, there's almost no ore in here, and that's because what I've done is over here, I've got this with a export cable. This is, this took me, like, probably about a half hour to figure out. Don't use an import cable, use an export cable. Uh, and I believe that the quest book was trying to help us out to figure this out because if you look here, it has link cable import export. Um, and not a filtered import cable, a just regular in, uh, import cable doesn't import. It imports into the network. We want an export cable because we're exporting from the network. So this has a filter on it. You can just put it in there. Don't worry about the numbers so much. I think that's the maximum amount it will pull from the network or something. Um, for this, this is a very slow process. We don't need to worry about it. So uh, make sure this is clicked to always on. Don't click this button. Import continents, contents as a filter. Um, just erases all this and don't touch these just yet. Okay. So. That thing um, here is just crushing up whatever we get. And then as you guys can see, we are using a little bit more power. So just a little bit ago, I was at 20 or 2.5 million IF. Uh, but now we're at 1.9. Then this is pulling with these item pipes because these are way cheaper from cork into here. And this is getting imported, and this will actually keep up with the process. It's still trying to get a bit of a backlog here. This imports down here. And then we come over here. 
This is actually super dangerous. I shouldn't have done it this way. Um, yeah, let's take some blocks. I actually had uh, to take some quite a bit of time lighting this place up, and I'm still a little bit unsure about it. But uh, probably should fix this as well. Uh, so this actually goes all the way into here, and we might have to directly import this, is my plan, uh, into the system here. Um, so that we don't have any sort of backlog here, but we do have the iron, and we got one, two, three, almost three stacks. I think we got more than three, actually, I think I saw in there. And as you can see, boom, tons of stuff. So doing pretty good then what I did and you guys see where all of this sort of chains together to what we're gonna do today I put an export cable here with coal into our wonderful um, coke oven what we need to do now is put this into here the, the coal coke I mean I tried uh, with the hopper. I've got it pulling out the cold coke. Um, but we still need to manually do this. However, with the improved blast furnace, we don't. We can put it in immediately. And then we can get our steel production up to just an amazing amount. Uh, so we are very close to some pretty awesome automation here. We just need to get ourselves there this I believe is just this perfect task complete we got it I think it's raining one problem with the solar cookers is if it's raining we lose pretty much everything so keep that in mind if you're doing a similar system to me um, yeah all right so put that down like this boom as I said, a bit of a smaller footprint. So, the up top here, um, that is basically where we want to put in our iron. Uh, bottom, one of these. I think in the front, I think it is might be where we need to put the coal coke okay we finally made it so uh let's get rid of this guy uh well did that go into the oblivion i think it did and then we'll clean up this guy here and then clean up this guy here because this is going to be oh i know where it went uh this is going to be export i believe here so then for the importing of iron, this is something I wanted to test with you guys. So we're going to get an export uh, cable here. And we're going to slap that baby right here. Interesting. Okay, so we'll get uh, iron. And we just need one. So we're going to say one. Okay. Okay. Now, theoretically, interesting. That is not what I expected to happen at all. We also might need it to literally go up there as well. I don't... I'm still not sure if it's supposed to come out the front or the back where that ends up, but I kind of... I didn't expect it to do this. I do want to keep this always running, but I don't want to have a whole bunch of iron in here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do um, this. And then it'll only do 64 and 64 in here. So let's get another, yet another hopper on the bar. Or actually, I think we can do like a regular um, wooden hopper. Because a wooden hopper only allows for one... Um, input. That might be our best solution. And uh, I just want to test and see. Okay. Maybe it needs... 
Okay, so it needs to go up at the top anyways. Um, well, that hopper's gone forever. <laughs> um, okay, so maybe what we'll do is we'll put it at the top, and we'll make sure that there's always... Uh, shoot. So I tried a comparator to see if this thing would actually output any sort of redstone signal when it was actually running and on, and it's not. So the next idea would be um, to just wait now for this to fill up 64 cold coke in here, um, and then go from there, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, in the meantime, guys, check it out. We got eight diamonds. And uh, very, 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 very slowly going to uh, slowly go up uh, over time. Uh, so in the meantime, one thing that I want to work on is, first of all, we've got something to uh, collect. And moving on up, I believe. Oh, we need to create two of these, don't we? Iron sheet metal and an external heater. Oof. Yeah, I don't want to do that right now. Uh, we have the squeezer. We need to get four wooden barrels, basically, is the only thing. And uh, guess what? We have <laughs> to turn this guy off um, and get some creosote oil the old-fashioned way. Then, of course, we need to grab basically everything else, um, which apparently we only need one because I think this is actually a pretty small block, even though it looks a little bit bigger. This, this, this is what I am dreading. I've never built an arc furnace before. I've never gotten that far in the game. But what I'm really worried about is this graphite electrode. I have no idea how we get this graphite ingot. H-O-P graphite ingot. If I type in graphite here right we've got these three box uh block of hop graphite hop graphite and graphite electrode they don't really tell us how to make this let's have it pointing this way so i'll do uh one here steel scaffolding do 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 and then fluid pipes, we got two of them. Bum. They are gonna connect like this, they're not gonna look like it does in the uh, book. Two barrels, light engineer's block. Oh, four barrels, light engineer's block. Like this, and then crouch in that, yes, does it. Okay. Fluid pipe over here. Uh, and somewhere we need the redstone block. Where did that go? Okay. So, redstone block goes here. And if I've done everything correctly, we should be able to... Somewhere... Hello? Oh, there we go. Perfect. We got it. Alright. So, now this thing needs power. On these connectors, you can only have one uh, wire. But on the relays, you can pretty much have as much as you want. And now, this still, I don't think, is going to work because we still need to connect it. Um, I think it's going to be, like, basically behind it. So, it's not going to... Oh, it did work. Okay. Fills up with power. Um... Now here's my concern. I don't. I, I, I guess we'll put seed or something in it. Do we have like a plant that we can put in there, like hemp? I guess we can put hemp seeds, maybe. And that's I'm assuming is going to get a seed oil. Plant oil, yeah. Highly ordered pyrolic. Light lytic graphite is complex blah 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 blah. Hop dust is created by compressing eight pieces of coal 
dust. Coke dust. In an industrial squeezer. Alright. And then... We want to pull it out of here as fast as possible. What is that going to... Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got graphite dust. Okay, so we can... We don't have to pull this out. Uh, the plant oil out then. I really need to... <laughs> reorganize our base. That is going to be my off-camera job. Okay, let's talk about power because that's the next thing that's going to definitely be on our list of things that we need to tackle i want to do the thermoelectric generator and what we can do supposedly is take the blue ice which is super easy to get actually for us blue ice we just put uh uh pack dice around a pure daisy and pack dice we just put ice around a pure daisy and ice is just putting this guy into uh snow block into the um mana pool so i think what we're gonna do is uh i'm gonna get all that stuff collected and uh we'll build the generator uh next episode and um basically next episode we're gonna have a working arc furnace i just want to remind people why we're getting the arc furnace here real quick so andesite casing in the arc furnace creates the machine frame this machine frame is super super needed for basically every single machine we're about to get into but that's going to do it for today's episode, you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, uh, consider hitting that like button. And if you really enjoyed and feel I've earned it, you can always hit that subscribe button. Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to get to work at doing all these fun things that uh, I'm excited about. Uh, really enjoying this pack and really enjoying uh, hanging out with you guys on it. So onward and upward. Next episode, definitely need a new base. Need a better base than this. Uh, we're outgrowing it significantly. But, uh, yeah. Alright, I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then, happy mining and crafting.